isn't right. You mean you're uncomfortable with all the attention? No, I mean that kid wasn't banging on his locker. <laughs> Get the trainer! Get him! Cool! <laughs> Man, I am psyched for the new season. But I'm really gonna miss Earl, Michael, and Chris. Uh, Chris, uh... You know, crispy chicken is much better than it's the original. It's okay, Danny. Chris and I broke up over the summer, and I'm fine. Besides, he went away to college, and most long-distance relationships don't work. Hey, even though Sam's in Chicago, she and I are still going strong. I guess you guys just had an empty, meaningless relationship, and that's prop... <laughs> Mint? <laughs> yo, yo! I am psyched that those losers from last year are gone. I say good riddance to bad rubber. Vince, how can you say that? They were starters. They helped make us state champs. A mere technicology. The fact is, we don't need them anymore. We got me. Oh, please. You sit on the bench, then you go to the nurse to get the splinters out of you. Button it, Mary Beth. If you hadn't noticed, I'm a lot taller than I was last year. You look the same to me. What, are you blind or something? I shot up a quarter inch. I'm like a freaking redwood here. So that would explain why you're dumb as a stump. Eh, go gag on a pom-pom. Actually, I am not head cheerleader anymore. You are looking at the new team manager. Mary Beth, isn't that below you? <laughs> Julie, please, all work is below me. <laughs> but it's true. Daddy, Coach Fuller, and I discussed it, and we decided that it's a great way for me to learn responsibility and humility. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And if I make it through the year, I get a new car. <laughs> oh. So, babe, which uh, squeezable squealer is replacing you? Ugh. Amy Wright, she's perfect, really. I mean, she is a born cheerleader. Hey, I know, Amy. I mean, she's really cool and all, but I can't believe anyone could ever replace you. Hey, hey, what do you say? Isn't this a beautiful day? Hmm. I believe, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, champs. And you should feel good. But remember, it's important not to get fat and lazy. What's up, Connor? You winded from a little warm-up? Guess I spent the summer getting fat and lazy. <laughs> Laps. Listen up. Our starting lineup took a big hit, so it's important that we work harder than last year. Now, <clears throat> what are you doing, Damata? Oh, just enjoying the taller, higher starting lineup air. Yeah, we either cut it out or trade your shorts in for a tutu. <laughs> <laughs> and now we can call you Air Barishnikov. <laughs> <laughs> All right, knock it off. Let's get some layups. Let's go, Twinkle Toes. Ah, prepare to be dazzled. <laughs> nice. If you're on the Harlem Globetrotters, try a regular shot. <laughs> this is just great. You win one championship and suddenly nobody wants to work anymore. Well, it's a good thing my godson's moving to town. I played with his dad on the Rockets, so he's probably great. Hey, coach. Hi. Excuse me, I'm kind of busy. Hey. You didn't happen to see any tall guys out there look like they were lost, did you? Oh, waiting for a new player? Yeah, my godson. I played with his father, Theodore Brodus. Theodore Brodus? Superman Brodus? His son is playing for Deering? Oh, he's probably just like his dad. Smoother than glass, taller than a skyscraper, and able to stuff baskets in a single bound. What else could he be? How about smoother than glass, taller than a toadstool, and able to eat a Twinkie in a single chomp? <laughs> What's up, God Daddy? You're Theodore Jr.? Who? Theodore Brodus Jr. Wow. Can you do that every time? Oh, as long as I get there, I'm not exactly faster than a speeding bullet. <laughs> Great. Could we possibly be off to a rockier start? Coach, remember how you asked me to order the new team uniforms? Uh, yes. Well, 
I actually did it. Mary Beth, those are the wrong colors. Oh, no, the old ones were wrong. That light blue isn't flattering. And you know my motto. If you look pretty, you play pretty. <laughs> what kind of motto is run for your life? How did we get so bad? We're going to go from state champs to state chumps. <laughs> Well, for my second act as team manager, I've ensured that the Tornadoes will stay state champions. What you talking about, Mary Beth? Well, I was walking past the playground and I found the greatest basketball player. He's amazing and nobody knows him. Josh, Josh Sanders? If it makes you feel any better, I don't know him. Forget it. Josh won't play. I was in Little League with him. And he had a coach who wanted him to win so badly, he told Josh to bean a kid. But he wouldn't. The team lost the championship, and the coach blamed Josh. He hasn't played organized sports since. What are we going to do? This is why God created cheerleaders. <laughs> you guys have to stop projecting negative vibes. How many games have you lost so far? Hello? We haven't lost any games yet because... Hello, we haven't played any games yet. Exactly. So you're undefeated. Hello. Josh Sanders, huh? Oh, sweet shot. Very sweet. Uh, shot, sweet shot. Man, he never misses. Ha, he missed. Ha ha, no man. The brother was just setting himself up for a rebound. Very nice. Rebound. Hey, how's it going, Josh? I'm Danny Mellon, remember me? Sure. You're the kid I wouldn't be in Little League. <laughs> I got this. Okay, Joshy boy, this is your lucky day. We, the state champs, are offering you a chance to try out for our team. Can't promise you a starting spot, but just to try out alone is an incredible honor. Thanks for the offer, but I'm not interested. Okay, forget the trial. You're on the team. Oh. <laughs> It's nothing against you guys. I just play around. You know, the only thing that school teams care about is winning. That's not true. Look at the cool trophies we got. Yeah, yeah. Look at this thing. Right Look at this. Take it easy. Look, the only way we'll get a cat like that to play is to show him that we're not just into winning. and say go. Go? <laughs> Julie. Huh. Oh. Congratulations, Mary Beth. You can go out with Brad Prince. He's a guy we both liked. What? You can't decide who's going to win a guy by arm wrestling. It's all right. Winning isn't everything. I mean, sure it is nice to win, but it is the experience that counts. <laughs> okay. Yo, Josh, could you grab that? Sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> okay, Vince. So when I make this field goal, you owe me one hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm sorry to take your hard-earned cash money, Vincent. Tut tut. Do not fret, my friend. Winning is not everything. I hear of what you speak, my brother. <laughs> And I'm quite certain that you've developed as a person in the pursuit. I certainly did. Uh-huh. 
Josh, check it out. You have to see this week's Tornado Times. Hope Awards Tornado's Good Sportsmanship Award. But they turned it down. Did not take it. Right it right back. Right. Right. Oh, wow. Great performance. So you'll play on the team? No. Excuse me, I have tables to wait on. Oh, John. Okay, we're sorry. Maybe we went a little overboard. Yeah, we're not just into winning. At least check out a practice. Yeah, yeah so you don't want to a practice, Josh. Oh, yes. Okay. Who am I to disagree with the Pope? <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. All right, listen up. We've got off to a rough start. We lost our starting team, got killed our first game, and we have the wrong colored uniforms. That's okay. I'm taking control now. Now, Coach, I know you've been stressed lately, so I did something to cheer you up. I redecorated your office. It was too... sports. Mary Beth, please tell me you didn't touch my autographed dream team ball. Those are autographs? I thought it was just... scribble. What did you do? Huh? I cleaned it. Here, please don't kill me. Hey, I'm ready to practice. Hey, what's Josh. up, Josh? What's up? Meet Josh Sanders. He's gonna check us out, see if he wants to join the team. Oh, he is. Well, forget it. Nobody tries out for my team unless I say they can try out for my team. And I say he can try out for my team. All right, now let's scrimmage. Give me Vince, Teddy, and Danny. You go against Julie, Winnick, and Josh. Nice move. Good shot, Sanders. Nice rebound, too. Hey, this is fun. Yeah, it hasn't felt like this in a while, huh? Let's go. Take it from the top. Woo! I'll show you great shooting. And the crowd goes wild. Yo, Vince, what's up with that? I had that shot. Yeah, Vince, it's that hot dog and stuff that made us lose the game. Well, at least I'm scoring, Miss Out of Shape America. Oh, listen to the basketball ballerina. Hey, I don't remember asking for your help, Rusty. Why did you do that? Hey, what's up with you guys? All of you want to win, but none of you want to do the work. The only one focused on the game is Sanders. Josh? He left. Hey, Josh. Man, I really enjoyed having you at practice. And I'm sorry about what happened. You don't have to apologize to me. I'm not. I'm sorry for the team. They're out running laps till their legs fall off. <laughs> Danny told me about what happened between you and that little league coach. Ah, uh, so now you think you can convince me to play because you're not that kind of coach, huh? Now, I wouldn't even try. I understand. My brother had a similar experience. See, he was the greatest basketball player I ever saw. The greatest. But his high school coach told him to elbow this guy in the Adam's apple just to get him out of the game. Did he do it? No. Coach threatened to bench him. My brother quit and never played again. I could see that. Hey, your brother was better than Jordan? Maybe not better than Michael. Who, was he better than Magic? No. <laughs> Look, you're missing the point. Just because he had one bad experience, my brother missed out on all the great things a team has to offer. Trust, loyalty... Was he better than you? Okay, I exaggerated when I said he was the greatest. <laughs> But maybe he could have been the greatest if he stuck with it. But it's too late for him.
Come on, guys, let's think like a team. Come on. in the first 10 minutes and they didn't help. Forget it. We're getting creamed. What is there to be cheerful about? Oh, there is always something to be cheerful about. <laughs> we don't have points. We don't have wealth. That's okay. We've got our help. <laughs> nice, nice. Vince, you're benched. Why are you benching me? I'm the only one out there scoring. Yeah, coach, what's this up with that? Look, this is a team sport. Anyone had trouble with that concept can join Vince on the bench. Maloney, you're in for Damata. Let's go. Deering on three. One, two, three. Deering! Come on. Wow. You would sacrifice a chance to win just to prove a point about teamwork. I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you're impressed. Now, excuse me, I got a game to coach. You know, I never really finished trying out for the team. <laughs> Tell you what, why don't you suit up and try out in the second half? I'm already there, coach. You guys finally came together in the second half. All right. Yes. I'm proud of you. And, and we really felt like a team. It's like we finally found what we were missing. Well, I have to admit, it was fun. You guys played heads up, you worked the ball, and maybe next time we'll actually win. <laughs> Not that that's essential or anything. Hey, anybody up for pizza at the stadium? Yeah. Now that's essential. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Coach, can I talk to you for a second? Um, Mary Beth, I'm really sorry. But between the new uniforms, my new office, and my new ball, I'm not so sure about you being team manager. <laughs> oh, quit whining, man. Here's your ball. I believe you know Mitch Richmond. From the dream team? Uh, yeah, but what are you doing here, Mitch? Well, Daddy is a very proud sponsor of the U.S. Olympic team. Uh, now... Well, we figure we should replace it, or you'll never quit whining. I don't whine. Don't whine? Don't trade me to Atlanta. Don't trade me to Orlando. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't like being traded. Orlando's really humid. As for you, how about a little one-on-one? -on -one? Fine, as long as you don't whine when I whip your butt. Oh, well, perhaps you forget 19,000 NBA points. Perhaps you forget Dream Team. <laughs>